welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be doing my November week five cash stuffing. So technically it is still week four and I did just film my week four cash stuffing, but that's okay. I did have to film this um, ahead of time just because I'm going back home for Thanksgiving. So if you guys are watching it around that time frame, time frame i hope you had a wonderful holiday and a great time hopefully spent with your family and friends but anyway let's just get right into it starting off with cash envelopes i did prematurely take out my grocery money but i am going to put it back in um after this video so food now has 50 dollars. i'm just gonna give it 150 today not putting a lot in there because i'm gonna be back I'm home with my family and I'm thankful that luckily they usually pay for my groceries and dinner and lunch while I am back home. So very thankful for that, but we're gonna put $50 in there just in case. And I do have to drive a pretty long way. So usually I stop and get some food on the way. So that should cover it there. Next up is stock up and that is going to be getting $5 today. I didn't stuff anything in there for week four, so I thought I would give it just a little boost. So we have 15 total in stock up. Next up is spending, and that is going to be getting $5, which is nothing, uh, that's okay. So we have $15 in spending now. Oh, and if you guys are new to watching my videos, I don't stuff my bills on camera. Um, if you are interested in my bill and my bills and how much I pay for bills, um, you can stop. You can watch one of my previous budget with me's, and I go into more detail there. And I do plan on filming another budget with me soon, but I've just been so busy. So hopefully within the next month or so, I'll have a budget with me out there, especially around the holidays since it's so tight then. Next up is house, and this is household. It's getting five dollars, and I have ten dollars in there now, so we'll just add the five and make it fifteen. I shouldn't have to buy anything in household, but you never know. Unexpe unexpected expenses come up all the time. Next up is health, and that's going to be getting ten dollars. And right now I have ten in there, so we're just gonna stuff in that extra ten. So now we have 20. Next up is nails, and that's going to be getting $20. So my nail appointment is not until I get back. So we have a total of 35. So I will need to put another $20 in there the following week to pay for my nails in total. Next up is makeup, and that's getting $5 this week. When the budget is tighter than normal, I usually put fives or tens and I can't put a lot more than that, but that's okay. So makeup now has 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, $23 in makeup. Buffer is not getting anything this week. Bank of course, nothing. And then no coins to put into my coin jar. I just filmed my week four, so I would hope there wouldn't be. All right, now we have our sinking funds. So starting off as per usual with hair, and hair is getting $5 today. I'm just curious, whenever you guys cash stuff, if you do, or whenever you budget out, when your budget is tight, how much do you usually try and give your sinking funds or other not ne not necessarily necessary expenses. So hair now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1, and 105. And I'm gonna make it a point to do my bill swap before I leave for Thanksgiving to hopefully upload December week one for you guys because this is just getting so ridiculous having to stuff these bills in here, which I'm thankful for, but yeah. It's not ideal. Next up is aesthetics, and that's going to be getting $5. And we stuffed just a five in there last week, so it's 510 in there total. Do you guys watch the Frugal Friends podcast? 
or I guess not watch, listen to. If so, let me know what your favorite episode is. I just watched one of their most recent episodes on sinking funds and like the power of sinking funds. So um, definitely go check that out if you have like Spotify or um, Apple Podcasts because it's really interesting. It kind of goes into more depth on the importance of sinking funds and how it can really help you in a situation where you may not have the cash from your checking fund to cover. But anyway, these are all my sinking funds, but I don't know, it really resonated with me because I've been loving my sinking funds and I think that it has actually made the most difference on my budget is having this money here when I need it. Okay, next up, Christmas. Christmas is getting $20. I would have liked to stuff $40 like I have been doing, but budget's tight this week, so we can only do so much. So we do have $500 in the bank. So Christmas now has 520, 540, 560, 580, 6, 620, 640, 660, 680, 7, 720, 740, 760, 770, 775, 780, 1, 2, 3, 4. 784 in Christmas. So by December week one, I should have $800, which I think is fantastic. I am so happy about that. All right, next up is gifting and gifting is going to be getting $5, of course. What else did you guys expect? <laughs> All right, so gifting has one, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 175, and 180. Almost to the 200 mark there, and I am happy about that. Next up is car, and car is going to be getting $10. I usually try to put more into car just because I have had previous experiences with my cars, with my car breaking down and it costing like at least $500. It almost seems like every single time something happens to your car, it's like $500 or, or more. I mean, my air conditioning broke, I think two years ago in my car and it cost around $1,000, which is so much money. So can't stress enough the importance of putting money into your car envelope, even when your car seems to be working perfectly fine because one day they can just decide to die. <laughs> so car has one, two, three, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360, 370, 380, 394, 410, 420, and 425. As I mentioned in last video, I need to get an oil change that usually comes out to around $100, so as close as I am to the 500 mark, um, that's probably gonna go down in the next couple of weeks. Next up is vacation, that's getting $10. So I'm thinking about doing a video for you guys where I go over my 2023, we have 30 in vacation by the way, where I go over my 2023 goals for my finances um, and kind of like my focus points for 2023. Let me know if you guys would like that video. I don't know, something kind of different. And I don't know, I just want to set 2023 off on the best foot possible. So let me know down below if you guys would like that video. All right, next up is luxury, $5, of course. I'm even happy that I can even just put $5 in here. So thankful for that. Luxury has one 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, and 175 into a luxury. All right, business, that is getting $5. All right, so business has one, 150, two, 250, 260, 270, 280, 293, 310, 315, 320, 325, 330, 335, six and seven, $337 into business. At this point, it's just a challenge if, if I can put my money in my envelope without splitting it. <laughs> okay, next up is membership. And last but not least, it's going to be getting, oh, did I miss, my, oh, I have house too. Never mind, not last, but certainly not least, $10 into membership. And I honestly need to go back through my subscriptions and check out which ones I subscribe to 
because I feel like it has gone up and I always forget. So membership now has 20, 30, 35, and 40. And I still need to cover my Amazon Prime subscription as well as my Costco. So I really need to be more proactive about when exactly those dates come up and I have to renew those. So I have the money there because I've been noticing that happens like that has happened twice this year. I'm like, oh my gosh, like just when I think that I'm in a good spot, I have everything figured out somehow one of those comes out. So i um, definitely going to try to do that for 2023. I know that's going to be a big goal of mine. Okay. Houses last and $5 into house as well. All right, so house now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88 dollars in two house. Almost to 100, yay! Oh, okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. We're just going to. We're gonna put that here for now and then we're gonna come back to it because I don't wanna make you guys watch me suffer through that. <laughs> but that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I mentioned before, if you're watching this around Thanksgiving or whenever or around the holidays, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. But I will see you guys soon. Next video for sure is going to be my bill swap. So stay tuned for that. All right, bye guys, thank you.